Hello everyone, this is Martha from Martha Makes Art. I thought I'd just pop in and show you my little mini Michaels haul and tell you about what I'm going to use it for. First off, you'll see right in front of me is the matte Mod Podge. I use that to um, seal my paintings when I'm done with them. Because I use mixed media and different kinds of paint and materials, sometimes everything looks uneven. Something like, for example, some things will be shiny, some things will be matte, things like that. Well, the matte Mod Podge just evens it out, and it also makes the colors look richer and deeper and just unifies the whole painting. These are just a few I did a few days ago for fun. So then I have my air dry clay and my Mod Podge hard coat. I've never used this kind of clay before. Um, I have some little projects that I just did. I use Sculpey and it's kind of expensive. I think I paid nine or $10 for one little block. And so my daughter had tried this brand and I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I like it. And the hard coat, the Mod Podge hard coat, I have never tried that, but um, in some videos I saw that it was good to seal your air dry sculptures. So I thought I'd give it a try and see what it looked like and see if I liked using it. Now over here we have Fabri-Tac. Now I use this for like if you look close at this uh, painting here, I have some little, whoops, I have some jewels and some stickers and some paper. Oh, it doesn't want to stand up. Sorry about that. Anyway, this Fabri-Tac will dry faster than Mod Podge. So I like to use it to adhere my gems and some of my paper and my um, stickers, if I use them, that will not stick very well with matte medium or Mod Podge. So I'll be putting my matte medium down and I will try to get something to stick and it won't. So I will go in and put a little dab of this and it usually works. Now here's the matte medium I was talking about. I use that a lot of times for my paper. If you look, a lot of this stuff here is paper. This is made with paper, paint, stickers, and gems. And there's probably some other stuff in there too, like watercolor pens and uh, I don't even know what all. I, I use all kinds of stuff when I'm working. A little disclaimer is that um, I don't know if I bought this at Michael's or not. I know I didn't buy it in the last little uh, haul when I bought this other stuff, um, but it was unopened and unused, and I thought I'd just stick it in here to show you and talk about it as well. So I probably either got it at Michael's or Amazon or DickBlick.com. I shop from all of the three of those most of the time for my art supplies. And once in a while, Joann's. But these three products for me are tried and true. I use them a lot. These two are new and I can't wait to try them. When my little sculpture's dry, I have a little elephant and a little cat. I'm gonna try this hard coat and see how it looks and see if I like it. And then the next time I make some little sculptures, I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. I already opened it and I didn't care for the smell, but we'll see, maybe I can get past that. But anyway, I'm sorry for me fumbling over my words and fumbling over my hands and knocking things over. I'm just still trying to learn here what to do and to share a little bit of my experience and the what I use for materials and stuff. Thank you for dropping by. Love you all. Bye.